Hello and welcome. So this video is for the task 2 of the Quantium Data Analytics Internship. So what we have to do in this task, we have to just download the data set from the fourth section that is QVI data. Just click on this to download this file. I already downloaded so I am not going to download again. So and what we have to do in this task, there is a lot of do documentation, just ignore it. And what you have to do in this task, that this can be broken down by you have to get the total sales revenue, total number of customers and average number of transactions per customer. So you have to get the three values in this task. So let's start this task. So just open the Jupyter Notebook. You can use Anaconda use on Anaconda environment or any cloud platform. I'm going I'm going to use from on the Azure platform. So so just create a new notebook. Let me show you guys. So just name it the task two and the Python three point six. Okay. Just create it. Okay. So as you can see, guy, I I already downloaded the data set, and this is in the same folder inside where I store my Jupyter notebook. Okay. So that is QVI data is the data set for the task two. Okay. So just open the Jupyter notebook and so start coding first of all import the necessary libraries so i'm going to just use the two libraries that is pandas and numpy as we don't need any graphical or visualization in this talk so just two libraries is sufficient okay so okay so just import and that's a speedy and after that import numpy as nt just sorry the spelling mistake let's run it again just run by is np okay so after then just make a variable name that is data set and inside this just use the pandas pd dot read csv method let me check uh, what is the extension of our data that is csv so in the place of excel we are going to use the read csv method just provide the data name you can get the data name by just rename and copy the data name okay just copy the data name and place inside the parenthesis just place it and shift plus enter so as you can see guys the data set is loading and i hope it runs successfully working on a jupyter notebook is quite fun instead of working any other platform it is very good for the data and analytics purpose okay so the data set is, is still loading and it has been loaded okay so you can just check whether it is loading or not by using the head method as you can see guys this is having a again as you can see guys our data set has been loaded okay so our data set has been loaded and first thing what we have to do let me show total sales revenue okay so we have to get the total sales so as you can see guys there's a lots of attributes so we can see columns are present like a date store nbr tax id product and we are don't know what is nbr product name product quantity total sales so this one is the target so we have to find the total sales so we can get the total sale by just uh, applying the sum function on it okay so just uh, total sales just take a variable total sales total sales and uh, sum apply sum inside the data set on the column that is t o t s a l e s just run it oh there is some error that is data set oh it's spelling mistake again okay so it is running successfully and you can print the total sale mm -hmm. so this is the total sale that is 19.33114 approx it is approx 115 as you can see 0.99 and so on so this is the total annual sale for your data the data set is given okay so in the next task as you can see the average number of customers so how can we get the average number of customers as we don't have any customer 
column in this data set as you can see guys there is not any customer column so we can get the total number of customer by using a tax id because tax id is unique for the every individual so just apply a note there that is so just 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 use some description that is there is not there is not any customer column in data set so but we can get customers by tax id because it is unique for every individual just mark down it okay so so for this how to get the total number of ids as you can see guys there are the so many ids are there uh, ids are different you can see one two three and four and so on so if i get the describe method so it will show all the ids for not ids all the number of rows in this column but from there we get the maximum value of tax id and as we can see the tax ids start with one and is going on increasing order so maximum is the last id so that will probably the total number of customers okay so because there is not any option so this is the one and last option for this for getting this so just use the describe method sorry data set dot data set dot describe hmm apply parenthesis okay so as you can see guys this is the tax id and uh, this is the total number of tax id and uh, what is the maximum value that is we are 241.58 and it is in exponential so when it can when i will convert into the normal integer so it will approach to 24.15.84 okay so this is the maximum number of customers so there is a count and the max is different because count is the total number of ids are there and maybe same similar customer by the different products so and the data is about not the transaction it is about the total number of products total number of products transaction okay so for getting the total number of customer just so this one is the total number of customer that is nothing but the maximum of the tax id so total customers check this running or not it's running okay so total customers that is worth this value that is 241584 so this is the total customer for this data set and in the next step what we have to found that is average number of transaction per customer number of transaction per customer so for this number of transaction per customer can be calculated by the total number of number of transaction per customer okay so total number of customer upon the total number of transaction so average just just use a hand adding so that is total number of transaction per customer mm -hmm. just make it heading and run it okay so this can be calculated just take a variable name average transaction and it can be calculated by the total number of customers div div divided by the total number of transaction so before this we have to get the total number of transaction so it can be get by the data set data set dot shape 
okay so it can be get by the data set dot shape it will give the total shape of your data set that is drugs so 264,834 transactions are there so that is nothing but the total transactions and oh that is the number of columns basically this is the number of rows and it is nothing but the total transaction as i told you that every individual line as you can say every individual row just representing the just representing the total just representing the transaction a unit transaction okay so total number of transaction per customer just take a variable average transaction just choose this and it can be calculated by using the total total customers total customer divided by that value that is 26 48 3 84 not 34 but it's too late okay so 3 not 284 that is 28 so 26 48 34 okay so if i run this so it is running successfully and you can check uh, what is the amount that is i hope it is approx 1 let me show you let me show let me check mm-hmm. okay so it is approx the point 991 okay so the average transaction for a unique customer it's approx 0.91 that is uh, approx 90% so this is all about this task so this is the third one this is the first one it is a quite a small task and you also need to do some more thing that is create a meter to compare different different control stores to each of the trial store to do this right a function to reduce having to and so on there are lots of thing but uh, you can stop there okay so these are the optional if you want to do mm-hmm. actually actually i i also want to do but i not get the enough information in the data set uh, there is not any distance in present in the data set when we see the data set so i am unable to done it okay so i i done till then till this if you want this just stop let's make your video. just make your jupyter file save it and submit your work okay so just click here to submit your work that is download as node python node i python just click on this and save it and once you downloaded it just open it once you open it okay this one not copy just cut it based on this location okay so go after after creating your code file just download as a jupyter notebook and go to your internship page go on the section 5 just click to submit your work and once you click on it Nice. Just upload your work. Just click on it. Select your file from the destination folder. Just click on this. As you can see, it is it has been uploaded successfully. Just sorry, just mark has completed. So that's how you complete your task two of the Contium internship. So if you like this video just thumbs up and share with your friends and in the in the next video I will show you how to complete the final task and get your certificate I am also going to do my final task in a couple of days so stay connecting thank you so much